Hello friends, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to be talking about the best torrent client for Linux. So I have used this torrent client for quite a long time. So it is tech Texarki. So it is a very lightweight and simple to use uh, torrent uh, client, uh, and it is better than root torrent or big torrent that you might be using. And the, the thing I don't like about those current clients is that they are, are very intrusive and they uh, show ads in the client and there are no ads available on Tixarki. So you can use the client for free and you uh, there will be no ads on the interface. There will be no uh, spyware or nonsense like that. So you can simply use the client as it is intended to just download the torrents and that's it and it also have a web interface so you can enable that if you want to but so the thing how you can download is just go to text40.com select download and over here uh, just select which platform you want to download it for so currently it is available for only windows and linux so if you are using Windows, you can download uh, 64 bit or 32 bit. So I am using Linux, so I am going to download it for Linux. And you can also use a portable version. So you can just go ahead and plug in the USB and start downloading. After that, over here you need to select which distribution you want to download XRT for. So as I am using Ubuntu, I am going to download the dev file. But if you are using Fedora or CentOS, you might need to use RPM. So let's start the download process. I'm going to download this. It is about 10 MB, so it is not going to take a lot of time. Just save the file. And, click on OK. and now it will start downloading. And I will be back once this uh, once the download process has been completed. So now the download has been completed. So the next step will be just open your downloads folder and right click over here and click open in terminal. And after that, just type sudo dpkg dash i and the file we just downloaded and hit enter and enter your password and now it is going to install the package manager over here and if we go ahead and search for xrt it is over here and just open it up and now you can add any torrent you want to download over here and you can change the default download location where all the torrents will be downloaded to downloads or anywhere else and you can also limit uh, bandwidth of what which XRT can use or not use just accept it and that's it for this video and if you have any questions do comment down below and thanks for watching